didn't even know it two months ago. <laughs> I already know you. Okay. Just running. Okay. You can even do two tapes, whatever you like. Okay. My name is Lisa, and I'm reading from this cabin. List of mistakes. I knocked over a water glass as I stretched awake. Didn't take a shower. Arrived late. Chose too low a table for chopping celery on. And I should have known you can cook salmon in the dishwasher. I didn't say enough this morning, talked too much tonight, failed to be specific. Jupiter's not a star. I opened a door for someone who didn't need it open just then, listened to a lost soul for answers, and left my love behind. Lost. Imagine everything you've lost today. Those blackbirds gnaw and gnaw. Shadows of the trees sway like yesterday. All the tall grasses of the ages the same. It's an old day, just like any other. Or is it? The Queen Anne's lace might be different. The breeze sculpting my face into openness. The blackbird's caw, a yes, yes, yes. A musical arrangement. On a leaf, a bee dances, a dance that turns, turns wildly into a search. Hi, I'm Brenda Clues, and I'm going to read a prose poem from my, uh, my book, the, the Luminous Poems, Dance of the Solar Wind. When there was no way to know, I knew, in my cacophonous sensibility. The delicacy of holding a momentary pose, swirl of fingertips on the white glaze of air, the way my muscled legs propelled me across the way. You saw me, I couldn't hide. In my peach-colored linen shirt, the darts sewn tight over the bodice, I thought, you should be afraid. You had more to lose. My life orchestrates around freedom. Even if the rhythms jar, collide, run up against the edge of the world where it's serrated, sharp, where we're sliced, opened, offered. Is love open heart surgery? Why do I feel such palpitating as if I'm going to burst? Can love fire a life for the length of that life? Is that what happened? Does it matter? I can't differentiate anymore. Searing, burning, a euphoria. Love that swallows you as you breathe it like fire dust. Love that bursts inside from the heat while you levitate above the earth, swallowed back into the sun, watching the seashell that Botticelli painted on the seashore of a mythology of love. I write in a stream of consciousness, but how to write concurrent streams that crisscross like jet streams? Can I fly on the solar winds into your heart, across an ocean of forgiveness? Thank you. My name is Pat Connors. My book, Scarborough Songs, launches at the Lyrical Miracle Spring Launch. The reason I'm choosing to read this is because I turn 44 in a couple of weeks. You'll understand what I'm talking about once I read the poem. Ambiguity. The great unknown is the basis of art, the level on which we share while I hold something back, leaving you to want more. Deep feelings and profound thoughts express, expressed under the influence, the considerable duress of meeting an entirely self-imposed deadline, to be great, completed, or at least known by the time I turn 44. I have been a writer for many years. I have passed many years without writing. Fondly finish off with this, hoping to be remembered by what's not entirely explained 
and let you fill in the blanks for yourself. What you have meant as I become, I have grown and hope you have with me. In the depth of my fears, at the end of my tears, I am strong. This is my poem, Epic, which was the first poem that I got published in the United States. My feet set squarely in the present, my eyes firmly focused on the future. The narrow way seems dangerous and hard, wrought with strife and lonely, but when not absorbed in seeming circumstances or caught up in wavering from side to side, it merely becomes the surest, shortest distance between two points. The past has passed, the present is but a fleeting gift. I will hold out for the future and trust in what it brings. I thought it was it was okay with the, like as a kind of